Welcome back to another episode of Smart Fox TV. Have you ever felt so stressed and then one look at a cute puppy or pet just makes your day a little better? It's no mistake that animals help people de-stress and in different ways and settings too. Today, we're going to look at two animal wellness trends that have come around and seem to stay around in recent years. Quirky as they are, people are flocking to them and maybe you can see why too. First up, we have goat yoga. What is goat yoga, you ask? It began on a farm in Oregon and spread quickly in popularity. Goat yoga is simply a yoga class in which you will find yourself in a small enclosure surrounded by dwarf goats and baby goats. Unlike a typical yoga class where you'll strike and hold various poses, you may find yourself being licked or stepped on by a cute goat mid-pose. They may also crawl between your legs, go around you, nibble your ear, or even jump on top of you as you're trying to hold a pose. People typically enjoy it because they can do some light yoga and also they get to interact with cute goats at the same time. Essentially, it's like combining a petting zoo with yoga to make for a quirky but more fun setting. Another more recent trend hit last year and it involves cows. Kuknuflen, or cow hugging in Dutch, began in the Netherlands. In this type of therapy program, farms bring in cow cutlers and teach them how to greet a cow and warm them up to humans. Then the cutlers rest against or hug the cow for several hours and due to the cow's warmth, slow heartbeat, and large size, it creates a very calming experience for the hugger. Experts believe that this practice helps release oxytocin in humans, making us more positive and less stressed. According to animal studies, experts also believe that cow hugging has benefits for the cows too, as they've noticed that the cows are more relaxed after a session of being hugged by a human. Talk about being one with nature. If you tried some interesting interactions with animals or you've actually tried either of these things, share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Welcome to Cartoon Trivia. What was the first episode of SpongeBob SquarePants? Was it Bubble Stand, Pizza Delivery, or Help Wanted? Be back with the answer. Hey everyone, this is Kim and thanks for joining me for the current news. Astro World is a music event that takes place in Houston, Texas once a year and on this year it fell upon the dates of November 5th and 6th. What the crowd go goers were not expecting is injury and the other fatalities that happened during this year's Astro World for Travis Scott's performance. A crowd surge is when the crowd moves at a certain pace in a certain direction to the point that it could lead to entry or fatalities uh, because it is a heavy set of a mob necessarily um, where people cannot necessarily move out of the place that they are in because it's person to person contact. During Travis Scott's performance, about eight people had fatalities and dozens of people were injured. A few of those crowd goers are now claiming to sue the rapper for inciting the crowd to move in the way that they moved. However, authorities are still looking into the reason why the crowd surge happened in the first place. This is Kim and thanks for joining me for the current news. Welcome back to Cartoon Trivia. What was the first episode of SpongeBob SquarePants? Was it Bubble Sand, Pizza Delivery, or Help Wanted? The first episode of SpongeBob SquarePants was Help Wanted. Help Wanted was when SpongeBob applied for the job at Krusty Krab with an impossible task that was fallen onto him. SpongeBob rises to the occasion. Thank you for playing Cartoon Trivia. This is Cam. This is Tracy. Hi, this is Sally. And thanks for watching Smartbox TV. Stay, Stay foxy! foxy.